No oh, doubt by now you've probably seen the new Rangers uniform that was added to the rotation during the regular season this year. It's called the City Connect. It's a line of alternate uniforms and it's meant to celebrate the team's home cities. And as Brooke Rogers shares with us now, the creators went all the way back to their roots and we're not talking about just the roots of baseball. When the Rangers, along with Nike, started to brainstorm the new City Connect design, they went back in time, way back. And they found baseball and Texas history intrinsically connected by the date April 21st. The fact that our first home game ever was played on April 21st, 1972 at Arlington Stadium, or Turnpike Stadium as it was known at the time. 421 also marked the date of the Battle of San Jacinto and the first championship baseball game played in Texas. Dylan and creative director Scott Biggers knew the new uniforms could tell that combined origin story. Uh, so our City Connect uniform aims to tell our story, which in one sentence is how Arlington connected two rival cities through baseball to pave the way for the Rangers. They drew elements from three former minor league teams in DFW, the Dallas Eagles, Fort Worth Panthers, and Dallas Fort Worth Spurs, to create a fictional creature known as a Peagle. The fonts, typography, and colors also have historical roots. So for us, it was really important to tell a City Connect story. We twisted it to be a We Connect City story, which is really, again, the core of our origin story. The City Connect uniforms have been so popular that the team added Saturdays to the rotation mid-season, and several of the top merchandise items sold out within a few weeks, forcing them to restock throughout the year. This is uh, this year's uh, jersey, so I'm going to see if they, uh, when they win the World Series, I'll put a World Series patch on it. When the Rangers made the postseason, the historic tie became even stronger. Their playoff slogan is also a play on the Texas Independence phrase, come and take it. We know that no one's going to give us the championship, no one's going to give us the trophy, and so if this team's going to win it, they have to go and take it. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.